All right, Coach. So first year here, um, mm -hmm. what are you most excited for in your first season? You're with the girls. You had your first day of practice today. How, how excited are you? I'm very excited. I think that uh, the energy in the gym that we're feeling right now, the energy that the girls are bringing to every single practice makes it easy as a coach to be excited for the future and what they're getting done and what they're accomplishing. I think the big thing that I'm most excited about is Blazer Nation. You know, it's, it's something that's talked about in the region. You know, I've competed in this region, but there's a different aura when you step into the complex. And I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited to put a good product out on the court and a good team so that the uh, fans can get have a great time and, and be cheering for a, a winning squad. You talked about the product on the court and yes. this team. It's a it's a lot of new faces, <laughs> and a lot of, including the coaching staff, putting yes. you, yes. players. How important is chemistry for this team? It's very important. We have five returnees and we have five newcomers. Uh, so when we talk about chemistry, we've got to kind of blend both of that. And then we also have to, not only are we blending the personalities, we're blending in a completely new philosophy. So they're trying to learn my system as well while they're learning each other. So there's a lot of new things happening, but if we can get it clicking at the right time, you know, we could be pretty competitive. Talk about being competitive. You want to be successful. Absolutely. Obviously, this team in the past has been pretty successful, a pretty successful. successful team. And what do you want to do to continue that success, continue the tradition? And what does this team this year have to do to be successful? Yeah, well, I think Coach Coons did a great job of building a foundation here. And before her, um, you know, they've, they've done a great job of building up Lady Blazer basketball. It's actually our 45th year of Lady Blazer basketball. And uh, for me, the biggest thing is focusing on the day-to-day, -day, focusing on the little things. In order to be successful in the long run, we've got to focus on the details of what we're doing, making sure we're executing properly, making sure that everything that we're doing, we're taking a step, that next step towards being successful. And more importantly, being more consistent. You know, that's, that's a big thing. If you look at this team over the years, they've taken down top dogs and, and struggled some with some, some lesser teams. So we've got to learn how to night in, night out, whether we're traveling all the way to Tennessee or whether we're playing right here in the complex, we've got to make sure that we're consistent and bringing that consistent energy. First off, what excites you about this new season? Um, I think we have a lot of new players uh, along with our old players and it's just a new program and I'm just really excited to see what we can do with all the versatility we have on our team. You talked about having the new players, new coaching staff. What has that been like so far, just through preseason workouts and everything, uh, kind of, you know, this transition? How's that been? Um, it's been a big adjustment going from, uh, you know, not doing things that we're doing this year as in, you know, academics and more workouts and stuff like that. Just a big transition, but we have to do those things to do the things we want to accomplish in the end of the year. So we're all being very set into it and we're all buying in talked about having success at the end of the year. What does that look like for this this team? What are they going to have to do to have success? Um, we have to come with a lot of grit, and we have to come with a lot of excitement. we got to come out the gate, one to, you know, beat the team that we have that night. So we just have to do that from the get-go and not wait till the end. All right, one more question. For you, what do you have to do to be successful this year? Um, more this year, I have to be a leader vocally and physically. I have to um, lead my team through the worst situations, through any obstacle. And that's just really what I have to do. I have to keep a high head and keep my team on my back.